talking about when I talk about God's mercy, but mercy is this. Mercy means when someone has every right and power over us to harm us or to do us an injustice. They have the right to. Christmas is all about mercy. God's mercy towards you and God's mercy toward me because He loved us so much that He sent His only begotten Son. See, sometimes we can get clouded out about what Christmas is all about. Gifts, family time, not meeting schedules, but Christmas is really about God's love toward us because we serve a merciful God. Months ago when we were planning all of our songs, we heard this song and we said, we've got to do this song. By the next session, someone had made all the signs for us and all the songs that we've done, this is our favorite because it expresses who we are, what God's mercy has done for us. The songwriter said, I was hopeless. I was lost. Darkness and death were my best friend. When all you know is darkness in life and all you have to live for is to die, that's a very gloomy, unpurposeful life. But when you meet Jesus Christ, the one who says, I've come to set you free. And from the grave, He gives us life. He heals us emotionally and spiritually. And He makes us whole. I want you to know tonight that Christmas is really about living in God's mercy. And if you don't know Him tonight, this is your opportunity. Maybe you've come here and maybe you're struggling over the guilt of your past sins. Maybe life has left you a bit jaded and disillusioned because of how circumstances have played their way out. I need to tell you about a God who loves us and wants to help us in spite of all of our circumstances. Don't keep Him as a baby in a manger this Christmas. But would you allow that little baby, amen, would you allow Him to be the Savior who was born, who lived, who lived a wonderful life, and then he died. Religious leaders and political leaders thought they had seen and done the last with Jesus Christ. But three days later, he showed them that he was God and that he loved man. He showed himself for 40 days among people, and then he ascended to the right hand of God the Father, and there he sits, and the Word of God says this in Hebrews 7.25, Wherefore, He is able to save them to the uttermost, seeing that He ever liveth to make intercession for them. The babe of Christmas now sits on the right hand of God, and He petitions and prays for you. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to have a relationship with Him. So if you don't have that tonight, He's tugging. He's pulling at your heartstrings. We just say, God, I'm tired of working for minimum wage. For the wages of sin are death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Tonight, it's not working for minimum, but it's accepting God's gift and living in the maximum of what He's given on this on this side of eternity and the hope for an eternity someday with Him. Would you allow me to pray with you for a few moments? If you're not saved tonight, you don't know Jesus as your Savior, if you would leave this black light presentation and on your way home, if you would be in an accident and you would die, maybe you say, I don't know where I'd be, Pastor Seville. Tonight, you can go be on a of a doubt that if you confess your sins, He's faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness and write your name in the Lamb's book of life. If you're not saved, pray so much prayer with me as I pray tonight. I can't pray for you. you got to pray for yourself. If you want someone to pray with you, after this Black Light program is over, would you pull me aside and say, Pastor, would you pray with me? I just don't know about my soul. I don't know about my eternity. Anyone of our Black Light crew will be happy to pray with you. 
so that you have assurance of Jesus Christ as your Savior. Father, I love you and I'm thankful for your faithfulness. God, thank you that while I was yet a sinner, that Christ came in a lowly stable in Bethlehem. He came with a purpose in mind that he would live, but that he would die. He would take the judgment of my sins upon himself, that I could live a life to the fullest, that I may know freedom. God, I pray that if there's one here tonight that doesn't know you as their Savior, I pray that this very night, God, that they would make a commitment by faith in you. And God, that they would find that their sins will be cast as far as the east is from the west. God, that they would rejoice and know that the angels of heaven are rejoicing, that their name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would just minister, Holy Ghost, Touch each and every heart, God. Draw them to a place, God, where they will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are right with you. Thank you for the gift of Jesus that he came as a baby. But thank you for the gift of a Savior who's resurrected with all power and all might, who calls from death and gives life, who gives mercy and love and compassion. Thank you, Father, for your faith. Continue to minister in hearts and lives here tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I love mercy. That's what makes Christmas so special. The mercies of God. Knowing that He is God Almighty. How many enjoyed Black Lights so far? Amen. Have they done a wonderful job? Amen. We do have a couple more things we want to do for you tonight. We've been talking about the mercies of God and the importance of having your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life because every one of us is just a breath away from eternity. And so the last song that we're going to do is a song that started us with black light probably 15, 16 years ago. We saw it on a smaller scale. We loved it. It turned into black light here. And so we're going to give you our rendition of Shackles. It's, it's a, a, a giving you a demonstration of what it's like to be bound in sin, but to have the Spirit of God set you free. So I hope you enjoy it tonight.